for anybody that was around, it's not that long ago, a year or so ago, and we're out of function. And it wasn't anywhere near as moving as what this is. And I had trouble keeping my composure. I have no problem tonight because of the last few months. I've changed, my view has changed substantially. As was mentioned by Brent, I always used to think somebody was really buttering me up. What are they really going to be after? What am I going to have to look out for? You know, that was just my suspicious nature. I still got that suspicion, but I like to uh, control it a little better. Um, I, uh, I to scribble down a few notes as I try to find things. Now I've got my fingers on it. That's normal. <laughs> Usually I haven't got a whole lot on the paper, it's just making it look like I've got something prepared. <laughs> But I knew I'd forget lots of things that I wanted to touch. And I know that, yeah, we've had a long night. I don't want to take a lot of time. But um, I'm really, really pleased uh, with the people that come. And also, I've had uh, quite a few calls today, some at home and some otherwise, on my email of people that really, really wanted to be here. And it's uh, particular, there's a substantial group that I work with very uh, diligently with at the uh, Tumble Ridge Museum and the Geopark group. Tremendous group to work with. And uh, they had, they had a, quite a group coming. But I got a call today and, and this afternoon and said with the, the way the weather is, we just don't want to try it out in the road. And I had some of my very first people um, that I worked with. And uh, there is one here in John Manley. And he was the regional district representative when I first got on council. And he was a teacher. And he couldn't get away to conferences and to these meetings. So I got to go to a lot as the alternate director. And that very first year, the first convention we went to was a tremendous experience for us and uh, for Judy and I. Uh, we got to fly to Vancouver and the whole convention was on the Princess Patricia. And, and they brought it out early Kitimat was hosting a convention. They realized that they did not have space to, to, uh, to hold it. So they, uh, um, they brought that out a week before tour season happened, and we all went on. And John uh, was there with, uh, as well as uh, a good many of those people from back in those days. Uh, and, um, and so, uh, John allowed me the opportunity to start with Regional District my very first year. Uh, and and um, I haven't missed many since I was, uh, once in a while, um, Mayor decided that maybe somebody else should be there instead of me, either as director or alternate director, but, uh, but not very many of them. So uh, I, I felt very, very uh, rewarding to be able to represent the whole region as as maybe some of you don't know, but in fact, it don't matter where you live, whether you're in the community or in the rural areas, you are a constituent of the regional district. Um, there is no difference. Um, so that's why I take my other, set my other hats kind of cornerways and put the regional district hat straight forward and I'm going to the regional district because that is the matters I'm there for. The, um, 
quite a few things that were talked about really bring back memories. And some of the things that we're showing really bring back memories. I uh, uh, better get back on to covering a few of my notes or else I won't get doing it. So the, uh, um, the part um, about uh, um, But it's when the decision was made that I was not going to run. That's when I begin to learn a lot of things about what was really happening. Um, I've had, had the thoughts the last couple of lectures before that, but the opportunity wasn't there. There wasn't really the indication that people were going to step up to make a good uh, good election out of it, and I didn't want to just leave and have somebody fall in because because they were the only ones that put their hands up. I wanted to make sure it was an election uh, to uh, to help to bring things out because uh, I wanted to know um, what isn't understood by many councillors that move up to mayor is the tremendous difference between being a councillor and being a mayor. The mayor is the responsibility to make sure that everybody gets used in the best possible way. Everybody has strengths, everybody has weaknesses. It is the mayor's job to make sure that council gets the opportunity to use their strengths and has support to support their weaknesses. One of the things that uh, um, was mentioned a little bit is the, you know, all night it's been about what I did. Uh, and that's one of the things that um, even the organizers don't realize and one of the reasons why I feel calmer. They organize something here that she's all come to, to support me, to thank me, thank my family for everything. But in fact, it gives the opportunity for every one of you to be here because every one of you played part in that. And that, that is what is really, really important. The, the work on the ground, I don't do. I never have, and I, I don't want to start now. The staff, we've had some absolutely fabulous staff. If you work with them, the same as I said about counselors, they've all got weaknesses, they all got strengths. Let's work the strengths and, and, and take care of the weaknesses by somebody that's got strengths in that weakness. And that's what it's all about uh, as the mayor. And I wanted to make sure that there was an election so as I could feel that there was some thought given to the differences um, in, in the two of the job. It's very, very different. Your opinion should take the back, back of the plate and let uh, discussion happen amongst council before the mayor really steps up in my, except for once in a while, I would be first on because it was something I was really thinking that was they were going to take a stray on me and I wanted to get set on the road straight before we started I started letting them discuss it so uh, I don't know I think some of them kind of figured that out after a while but, but um, I still didn't stop uh, so it's um, but that's sort of a, but it's 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 staff that really really carries everything out um, there is times the public is right about staff kind of does run the show. But if it's a good council, and particularly the mayor, that won't happen. Because it is council that makes the decisions. It is council that makes the bylaws that staff follow. And and it's and they're all they're doing is doing their job of fulfilling what the council's put in place. And if it was 
if it's not working, then it's council's job to make sure it changes. And that's, that's just the way it is. And, uh, and uh, we should not try to pass the buck off because a citizen is very angry at you that, that it's anybody else's problem, and particular staff, because staff has a heck of a time trying to cope with their day-to-day -day jobs. And they, they do a tremendous job. So uh, I want to put a big bouquet out to them. But as I was saying, this gives the opportunity for uh, me to show, uh, or for you to come up and show. Uh, you wouldn't be here if you didn't have a part to play in it. I can see many, many uh, people that, uh, that I've worked both in consultants and with the work. And uh, there's times that uh, I know I made some mistakes too and maybe spoke up when I shouldn't have and should have been quiet. But, uh, and said some things that, uh, you know, I, when I get thinking about them later, uh, then, um, well, I kind of regret that I took that action, but that's what happened. It's happened in the past and it is past and, and the present. You can't do anything about because it's already here. The future is what you can do the difference. In. And you can use the present and past to make the future better and to hope not to make those mistakes uh, many times over that you, you continue to correct them. But there will always be more coming. Never think that you've solved them all. So it, it's, that's the way. And so with, with colleagues around, and um, um, that covers most of the things, but there is one uh, I want to catch up with pages on here. And, and I do kind of want to um, put out uh, um, When I uh, spoke a bit about, uh, I've kind of had the, the, the part about the, uh, when I made the decision and how it, it lifted a load. And, and what, what it really did is give me the opportunity to uh, come out of high gear forward, to go into low gear forward. You still want to keep the forward look and the forward watch on things. But I got to go kind of into neutral in quite a few ways and, and, and realize what was really happening that I really needed to put in a better package to, for hopefully council would have a take care of those, those businesses without me being around and it'd be in a better package and uh, uh, to take forward after I wasn't there. Because there was some things that aren't finished as there always is, there's some things ongoing and I wanted to put what we'd already done and what I kind of thought of where we were so as the new council can take it forward with the absolute understanding that from the afternoon of the second, it was not my ship to sail anymore. It was new people to sail it and they were the ones that were going to sail it and I wasn't going to get in the way of it. If I could help them sail it, I'll be right there to do so. But uh, I don't want to be in the way of them using the new new ideas, the new um, uh, ways of doing things, the new knowledge is the strengths. They got totally different strengths. And, and, um, and even though three of them were on council, it is a new council. Um, um, they don't all get to be 100% the same council like Fort St. John. <laughs> but, uh, but it, I would say it's still new council because there was an election gone through and, and so it makes, uh, brings new ideas and uh, if the election does what it should do. One of the things that I kind of wrote out was that uh, um, the last several months since um, along with my wife Judy, made the final decision 
to not run for re-election have been very different. It meant changing from full force forward to low gear forward and, and cons, uh, constructing um, on, uh, on putting work in progress into packages that would hopefully make it easier for someone new to come in to the chain and chair and progress uh, would not be so hard to keep moving forward. Judy's was not completely convinced it was the best move to make. But, uh, but I um, was, she left it with me to make the final decision. And you know, um, I got to think of the meeting in which way she was suggesting that maybe I should stay for another term. <laughs> I believe her concern was for both of us in the fact that there seems to be a number of people who attempt to move from full speed ahead to near neutral with not so positive of results. I also do not want those results, so have promised myself that I will stay, still be doing something which has value to other people and maintains a personal lifestyle. What that will be is up, up in the air at this time. I am aware of quite a few things that are up in the air, but when everything all settles out come the new year, we'll find what is still up there and, and we'll be doing something. So uh, I've got to keep, well, as I mentioned to the reporter today, the little bit of mind I got left and, and, uh, and uh, I need to work on keeping my body reasonably fit <laughs> and, or if we want to stay around. So, uh, and I want to stay around. So uh, that is what the future is. And, and, and um, as at this time and in the foreseeable future, it will be right here in this community, the best community in BC or Canada. And, and it is um, just fabulous to be a part of it. And it's because of so many people. And one other thing that I kind of uh, wanted to mention, uh, and I didn't even have it in my notes, but I wanted to mention it anyways, is that uh, uh, I often got uh, static or question on why I would ever want to be on so many committees. But the experiences of working directly with those organizations makes me understand greatly more the differences and how they wish they had local governments of the type that we've got in this province. When, when I hear us in this province complaining about the type of governments, local governments, the different local governments we got, in particular between regional districts and district municipalities, uh, which they had in Manitoba, which I had a lot of, lot of um, experience about. Uh, the best man was a councillor on a rural municipality in Manitoba. Um, I knew a great deal about the inner workings of their municipalities and the rural uh, governments in Manitoba, as well as I lived in Saskatchewan for a period of time and uh, didn't get much there, but you still seen the differences. Uh, it's always been rural and, and uh, really Taylor is rural, um, but we really need to make sure our large communities are very, very well situated and, and because they are the vocal point around the world, their names come up first before the rest of us. Uh, Taylor does come up a lot of places, but, but it, when it's the uh, looking at what is needed for investments to come here, for a lot of different things to happen here, is um, we need 
very, very healthy, large communities with those names out there because that is the names that's noticed. And when all that activity comes there, um, then it is only our problem if we don't make sure we get them into our small communities into the rural area to make sure they know the whole region. And uh, as of the last few years, Prince George has done a tremendous amount in bringing things out of the Lower Mainland and Victoria. And, and, our, um, and I've heard a lot of, of um, comments about, well, they're, they're keeping it all there. But they only keep it there if we don't, aren't there to make sure that we're involved, to make sure the residue of that continues to come our direction and we will gain the benefits. So, um, those are some of the things that I want to leave for thoughts. And uh, now that I don't have to go back and sit at the board table and, and, and uh, respond to comments about my comments, <laughs> I can, if I don't want to, I'll just go the other direction. But, but, but uh, I'll, I'll want to because that's, that's the way I operate. So um, thank you very, very much for coming. It's a fabulous time. Um, and um, many people have earned the accolades and you can all feel proud of the part that you've played in it. And, and just being here shows me that that's the way it is. So it, it's, um, that's what makes me feel more at ease. Um, the other thing about what makes me feel more at ease is once it was final that yes, I was quitting. I had many of those people coming to me, and uh, I had faxes and so on. Uh, they, um, they didn't say anymore, we need you to stay, and, and all this sort of stuff. They come alongside of me and talked with me on the fact of how I helped them. And that made me feel that there was a value to what I do, as there is a value to what every one of you do to make it all happen. So thank you very, very much for um, this great evening. Thanks for the people that worked so hard to put it on. Um, I know um, it was quite a long time, you know, all of a sudden a piece of paper would disappear when I happened to walk in the room or whatever. And uh, um, of course I never noticed that sort of stuff and didn't know what it was about. But, uh, and that's one thing that I told them right to start with. They said, well, what do you really want? And I said, it's not what I want. It's what you people want to do. So this, this is our staff and the council and, and the people working uh, in putting it all together. They did it. Um, one of the main questions is, well, when are you available? It was, it was fairly important. Uh, and I did answer that one for them and uh, give them some dates. But otherwise, it, it was their ideas. I did gather some stuff for them because they had, did not have access to some of the things that are up there. We're up in that uh, thing. But um, otherwise, um, they did it all. And, and um, I was not going to get involved in that because no way I was going to come here and have anybody have the opportunity to say, well, yeah, you plan your own retirement. <laughs> uh, that, that was not too good. So, uh, and um, when I said about the, the, um, the uh, silent voices, um, I have found that uh, they're not silent, they're just quiet. And you've got to approach them in such a way, and, and they will tell you a lot. And there's times when you, uh, you uh, hear some things that you really don't want. Uh, more recently, there was uh, the opportunity when we're in a group, there was a fair group around, and one of those silent voices, uh, quiet voices, made a comment that really registered with me. And, but it wasn't surprising to me because I was understanding of the circumstances that it grew from. But I, but, and I don't think that anybody else in the group seen it happen or heard it happen. But I was told that I speak with two tongues. And, and 
And in the circumstances, uh, I, I could easily see that description. I had expected that would be kind of the feelings, and uh, and uh, but uh, there definitely was no malmeaning in what I did. But I think that was one of the times that there was things that you know kind of went on that maybe uh, maybe I had suggested that I wouldn't do so. So uh, I know that there's lots of time, but it is those quiet voices that really, really help things along, and and to watch them. Um, I've taken enough of your time, and and I thank you very, very much. And uh, and uh, I would be pleased to stay around and visit with one, especially the uh, traveled so far, and especially a daughter and her husband that come from Edmonton today to be here with us. They, they, come, up, they come up for, uh, for the celebration with my birthday, 65th birthday. So uh, also, just out of the clear blue, they showed up that day. And, um, and um, I appreciate that so very, very much. And I appreciate all the rest of it's coming. Thank you.